Good, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the uh, next uh, Admiral's Trading Spotlight uh, webinar. I'm Paul. You are very welcome here for our uh, session today, uh, where we're going to be talking about uh, trading markets using four hour chart, a subject that I could talk for weeks on. But uh, we only have about 40, 45 minutes. So uh, we'll be trying to push in as much as we possibly can. Uh, Great for you to be here joining us, okay? Um, fabulous to see you here in the room, or if you're watching this on demand later on the uh, Admiral's YouTube channel, fantastic, thanks for joining us. Uh, for all of you on the YouTube channel, be sure to uh, subscribe, okay, to uh, the Admiral's YouTube channel. Uh, you know, and if you've uh, enjoyed this, if you found it uh, useful, give us a you know, thumbs up, or uh, maybe if it's not been for you, you can give us a thumbs down, that's okay, we don't mind the, uh, the feedback. If you've got thoughts or comments so you know maybe questions or even suggestions you can either put them in the chat box here with me today or uh, later say put them on the comments box on the uh, admiral's youtube channel um it's uh it's uh, fabulous to be here okay um as always uh, i recognize that you know we have a broad range of experience who join us for our sessions so from complete beginners to, to quite advanced uh, intermediate um traders you are all very welcome hopefully there'll be something here for uh, for all of you uh also i appreciate that we have a very global audience okay this might be the english speaking webinar but uh, i do recognize we have people who join us from all over the uh, all over the globe uh, you're all very uh, you're very welcome uh, myself and here everyone at admirals hope that uh, you know you're all well and healthy and uh and making the best of life as uh, as we all have to in these uh, present circumstances so um as i said well, here we are to talk about uh, trading markets uh using the uh, the four hour charts and it'd be great to know, you know, for those of you here joining us today in the room, you know, what, if any, experience you have of trading for our charts, maybe it's been complete, you know, they completely passed you by, maybe it's your sole way of, uh, of doing business. Either way, it'd be great to, to hear and understand what your own experience has been, put it in the chat box, and, uh, and we'll progress on with our uh, session for today. So just bear with us a moment, we'll just bring up the, uh, the slides, I hope. OK, and we'll be able to uh, see it and get to uh, get cracking for our uh, session today. So <clears throat> there's a few comments there. Uh, William says, hi, Paul. Hope well, I am great. To, thank you for joining us, William, as does Paul. Hi, hope you're well. Great to see you, Paul, here. OK, thanks, everybody, for uh, for joining us. OK, it uh, should hopefully be a, a useful and interesting session for us, uh, for us all. Uh, and we're going to talk about how to trade markets using four hour charts, right? So, um, you know, I've, as you'll see on one of the latest slides, uh, I'm a big fan of four hour charts for various reasons. Uh, and we will talk about that more as we get uh, as we get into it. But as I said, be interesting to know what, if any, experience you have trading four hour charts yourself. Those of you who might join my colleague uh, Marcus in his morning session, he very often does a lot of work on the four hour charts. And I'm sure some of you will have join those and learnt um, you know, from him there, okay? And hopefully this will give you just another view and another way on using these particular, uh, this particular time frame. So for those of you, you know, here we are, we're Admirals, okay? We're a Forex and CFD broker with uh, global presence, but local support, licensed and regulated across a wide range of regulatory environments, providing uh, competitive spreads on the most popular trading products and allowing the opportunity to engage with markets using both MT4 and uh, MT5 uh, platforms. Uh, and if you have any particular uh, uh, questions about that, please get in touch with your account representative and they'll be, uh, they'll be very happy to help you. Those of you who want a little bit more up-to-date uh, information, okay, or more time-sensitive content, then be sure to subscribe to Admiral's Telegram, as the name implies there. It's at Admiral's. Uh, I think you might have seen my uh, wonderful uh, assistant has, uh, has uh, probably uh, put in the link there to the Telegram channel. That's fabulous. Okay, it's all there. It's all done. Okay, so be sure to do that. There's always some time-sensitive content that we put out uh, on there, so be sure to join. So um, what are we going to talk about today? Well, not unsurprisingly, okay, when we're looking at four-hour market uh, charts, we're going to look about you know, what do you need to be aware of, okay? I'll share some of my experience from doing it, but also just, you know, sort of just things that you can help you with your uh, own efforts, endeavours. I'll also share a little bit about, you know, what are the pros and cons of trading the uh, the, the four-hour chart? Um, you'll have always heard me say that there is there's no perfection in trading okay you know there is a you know it's always a case of there's pros and cons for everything it's about sort of working out you know whether the proms are, are pros uh, outweigh the cons for you based upon your own particular uh, commitments your own particular trading style is trading style your own particular uh, levels of experience and schedule 
I'll talk a little bit about what are good trading strategies for the four hour chart. OK, a, a lot of those ones are ones that we have covered before. OK, so you can get even more depth and detail there. Uh, we'll talk about it. Uh, and, you know, if there's time, we'll have a little look at the uh, live four hour markets. All right. Uh, that always helps. I appreciate when you, you know, have an opportunity to basically to, you know, to see what we've been talking about and apply it in the uh, in real time. So for those of you who don't know me, uh, my name's uh, Paul. I started trading many years ago. Okay, I've traded for hedge funds and for high net worth clients. Uh, my own trading tends to focus on FX indices and commodities, uh, whereby for actually my kind of longer term trading, I'm a sort of trend trader. And my short term trader, I tend to be a, yeah, a reversal or mean reversion trader. So elements of that will come out today in what I talk about. So how to trade for our market. So as I said, um, uh, you know, who here today with us has experience of trading the four hour markets? It'd be great to know, you know, just uh, if you have, just, you know, just put in the chat box there. Yes, you know, if there's specific instruments that you've actually um, uh, particularly focused on with that, that'd be always be great to hear as, uh, as well. So, you know, you by all means, uh, by all means, you can uh, definitely put that in. So uh, Amesh has, yes, he has and stuff as well. So uh, thanks for that. As I said, if there's others of you here who have experience, that would be great to, uh, to, to hear, to see what's going. Paul says he has as well. That's super. Um, you know, and as I said, I appreciate we have a, a wide range of people who join us. Some people are complete beginners, okay, and they might not really fully understand it. Um, you know, and hopefully by the end of this session, that's what, you know, one of the things you'll understand, you know, where it sits, how it can be used, okay, and how you could add it to your, to your own trading routines. So as the, uh, as the slide says there, you know, many traders want and try to trade very short time frames in FX markets, you know, one minute, five minute, 15 minutes. However, the reality is for very new traders is that probably their present skill set and lifestyle prevent them from doing it successfully on a, uh, on a sustainable basis. What may be more suitable for new traders is to trade slightly longer term charts, and in particular, the four hour chart. Uh, and today I'll explain the pros and cons of trading the four hour markets and how you can engage successfully with them. So, uh, you know, Gareth says he's always focused on shorter timeframes, that's fine. Raquel says, you know, he's traded very little on the uh, uh, on the four hour time frame. that's absolutely that's absolutely fine and you know i said this is you know part of this session is about sort of just uh, helping you uh, helping you you know realize raise your awareness about what your options are okay how you can do that through uh, admiral markets uh, and you know what 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 are the best ways to go about that so as i said some people you know some people start trading on like weekly and daily charts uh, which is which is grand is fine but very often at the beginning of their trading career, they don't actually get many trading signals, they don't get many trading setups. So it takes them a while to, to get that kind of trading experience. At the other end of the spectrum, we find traders, as I said, will just like launch themselves in on one minute, five minute, 15 minute charts, okay? And then they're getting far too much experience, okay? And normally not in the best way, all right? As the, there's an old kind of military saying that, you know, good judgment comes from more experience but experience tends to come from bad judgment. Uh, and it's, and it is quite true. Okay. And it's, it's true in trading as well. So, um, um, you know, what we're looking for is, you know, something that maybe, you know, is, is a little bit more active than the, the weekly and daily charts, perhaps not as fast as the very short term scalping intraday, you know, especially when you're new, so that you can actually sort of get into the groove, okay, into the rhythm of the market, into the rhythm of actually, you know, identifying, doing your analysis, identifying your, uh, um, your setup, okay, you know, doing your risk management, placing your trade, managing your trade, exiting your trade, debriefing your trade, repeating your trade, okay, those kind of good elements that we're looking for. So um, Paul says, I do the daily, then I drill down to four hours, and that's uh, that's a very, very popular way to uh, to trade, Paul, okay, that, you know, a lot of people will use perhaps maybe the weekly or the daily for to do their analysis, and then they will drop down to the four hour chart in order to find a, a you know, an entry that is maybe a little bit tighter, whereby their trade risk is a little bit smaller. So the the opportunity for them to achieve a greater reward to risk in the trade, you know, is, is enhanced. So, um, you know, what are we looking for? What are we actually interested in? Well, um, you know, my personal disclosure is that I love trading four hour charts. Um, you know, I, I am, uh, you know, I will, a little bit like Paul said, 
uh, I will have to do a lot of my longer term trading, you know, uses the kind of the weekly and the daily charts, uh, and I'm very happy trading them. But sometimes you can see there's an opportunity to drop down, okay, into the four hour time frame that allows you to basically, as I say, just get a little bit of a tighter entry, an earlier entry that might provide with you know, a smaller trade risk. Therefore, you can achieve a greater reward to risk on your trade. But what are the other reasons that I like trading four hour charts? You know, um, less time at screens, okay, which, uh, you know, might seem a bit strange, but actually that suits me. You know, I, many years ago, I used to work for hedge funds, you know, and I'd be there at my desk at six in the morning, and then sometimes I'd still be there at 10 o'clock at night. Okay, so you spend a lot of time at screens, all right, and, uh, you know, actually, I don't particularly want to spend as much time. I want to be focused, all right, and trading the four-hour charts allows you to do that, because actually, you know, once you understand and know when the four-hour candles close, well, then, you know, you can sort of schedule your day around that. Now, I'm a full-time trader, so, I, you know, it's easier for me. I appreciate if you're doing your trading around, a, let's say, a day job, or you might have, you know, lifestyle commitments with family, etc. might not always be so easy. But, you know, what it does mean is that, is, you know, you're not, you're not required to be sat in front of screens all the time. You can do your analysis pretty, pretty quickly. It might seem strange, but it is in many ways easier to choose quality over quantity, right? When you know watching, especially if you know, like me, you're focusing on, let's just say, FX markets, okay? Where, you know, I'm particularly looking at the dollar index and about 28 other currencies, right? You know, you, know, you will have weeks, okay, where there are lots of setups. And actually, once you start to identify, you know, what your good setup is, it actually becomes easier to choose a quality setup over just literally trading everything, which is... What I find when I, you know, new traders sort of launch themselves in on the 15 and the five minute, the one minute chart, they, you know, they literally just trade everything. All right. And uh, that's not necessarily the best way. You know, it, it gets them a lot of experience. All right. It gets them a lot of experience, a lot of fast, but not necessarily the, uh, the, the smartest and best way to work. What it also does is it gives you time to prepare for a trade. What, what do I actually mean by that? Is that, as I said, you, you know, once you understand when those four hour candles are closing, you can set your alarms. So basically, you know, for about 10 minutes in front of when the, uh, the candle is closing. All right. So you can just get ready to see the candle close and give you 10, 15 minutes afterwards in case you need to, you know, just confirm that there is a setup, identify your entry, identify your stop loss, do your position sizing as part of your risk management and actually put the trade onto the uh, onto the platform. And what that means is it gives you a little bit of time to pair. Okay, if you're if you're trying to scalp one minute charts, okay, well then you know you don't really have you know you know good time to always identify you know the exact setup or to do the exact position sizing. Things can happen very fast. When they happen well for you, okay, you know, it puts wind in the sails of your trade and things go really, really well. But equally, you know, when you're scalping one minute charts, when things go, you know, badly against you, you know, you have to be able to, be able to know what you're doing and be able to know to cut your trade as quickly as possible. What it also do, that kind of leads into a little bit is clean setup. What do I actually mean by clean setups? Is once you get into your rhythm, into your groove of like analyzing those four hour charts, you'll start to recognize some very, very nice, clean, simple setups, right? Unlike, you know, one minute, five minute, 15 minute charts, things can be happening fast, but you might just need to get the trade on. You know, you're not going to get the exact entry you want, okay? This, you know, four hours, you have the time to identify, okay, where your entry is. You have your time to identify where your exit is. Your exit is in terms of your stop loss, but also your exit in terms of, you know, what your, your target might be. It gives you time to do your position size and so you can risk manage accordingly. All of these things are what good, solid, disciplined professional traders are doing. You can also find very good reward to risk trades, okay? You know, really very good reward to risk trades. You know, it is very possible, you know, you know on weeks and stuff to, to find a trade where you might be risking somewhere from, well, you might be risking somewhere from 40 to 80 points, okay? You know, to, to generate somewhere between 200 to 400 points, okay? So, you know, your reward to risk on those trades, okay, is it can be really very, very good. It's very good in base. Um, you know, it's, it's very possible to achieve two, three, four, five to one trades and, and even more, depending on how aggressive you are. And that just lets you into that kind of asymmetric reward to risk ratio, which is something if you've joined my sessions beforehand, you'll know that I'm always very, very keen on. OK, you need to be very keen on understanding and working out, OK, you know, good asymmetric reward to risk ratios. What you can also do, OK, and this is you know very useful if, as I say, you're trading around other commitments is that you're able to you know, set and forget your trading. What I mean by that is a little bit like I said, once you've identified your setup, 
Once you've identified where your entry is, once you've identified where your stop loss is and where your target is, and those are on the platform and you can you know, make sure that they are there and you know, they're correct on the platform, well, then invariably you can almost you can almost walk away. Okay, you can almost walk away from that trade. You can almost like close down the uh, close down the platform and let the platform do the work for you. Okay, you might just want to check in every day just to make sure that the, you know the orders are still there on the platform. Everything's working out. There's no need for you, as I said, to be sat on the edge of your screen watching every sort of you know every little blip you know get painted on a screen. In fact, if anything, it's probably counterproductive that because you know you burn your emotional energy up very quickly. So it is possible to literally set and forget trading. And that allows, you know, and that allows you to, to basically to, to, to move off and, and go and trade other things, do other things with your day. OK, if you know you've got another three and a half hours or so until your next candle completes, you know, you can do an awful lot in those three and a half hours. OK, you know, and, and I, you know, I one of my own friends, one of my own clients, you know, he you know, he's a fund manager. OK, you know, he, he trades, you know, 200 contracts basically trading patterns off the four hour charts. Okay. So, you know, don't think it's just a uh, kind of small retail trader, you know, the, the big boys are doing it just as, just as well. Okay. As, uh, as everybody else. All right. You know, it's, uh, you know, the four hour charts offer, it's almost like a, uh, you, know, uh, you know, it's almost like a kind of a Goldilocks. All right. It's kind of a Goldilocks time frame, all right. Okay. So it's, it's not too slow and it's not too fast. Okay. It's just right in the middle. Uh, and, you know, for, for both new traders and experienced traders alike, that can actually be enormously helpful, enormously beneficial. So, you know, what do we need to be aware of when trading for our FX market? Well, <clears throat> excuse me, a couple of you might have joined me this morning when I joined uh, Marcus's uh, session. And one of the things we talked about with regards to four hour markets is recognizing and understanding, you know, when those four hour, four hour candles complete uh, and also just recognizing that in relation to where you are in the world, okay? I appreciate this as uh, an English speaking webinar, but I do recognize that, you know, because of Admiral's reach, you know, we're, we have people all over the globe who join us for these particular sessions. So, you know, this is what it is on the four hour candlesticks on the Admiral Markets MT4 platform. So not surprisingly, it's a four hour, it's a four hour cycle. So what we have here is 12, 0400, 0800, 1200, 1600, 2000, okay? <clears throat> because of the nature of where uh, the uh, Admiral are based, that basically means there's like literally a sort of a, a two hour kind of a, a sort of a, a kind of a, a, a two hour sort of a shift there. So, for example, when you get to the uh, 0800 candle, OK, on the uh, uh, Admiral's MT4 chart, that's actually 0600 London time. All right. OK, so so uh, effectively, you know, the 1600 candle will have just as I'm doing this will have just started. OK, just to come. Uh, which is two o'clock London time. Okay, so just uh, you know, it just means that your trading windows are slightly smaller, and you just need to be aware of that. Okay, and once you're aware of that, well, then you can, as I said, you can start to plan your day. Okay, you can start to plan your day around you know when those particular trades are coming on. So you know, you know, if you know like me, you know, you're based in the uh, in the UK. Well, you know, six o'clock, ten o'clock, two o'clock, six o'clock. That actually, you no, know, those are you know the, the kind of let's say the four main candles that you're going to be looking at. Yes, you might be looking at the uh, the the ten o'clock London one as well. That might you might you know you know it's unlikely if you're a UK based trader you're going to be looking at the two o'clock one. All right, okay. You know if you're getting up in the night to sort of look at your two o'clock candles, uh, you know I suggest you probably need to have a word with yourself. Really, you know that's uh, that's not a particularly healthy or sustainable way to go about it. But definitely six o'clock, ten o'clock, two o'clock, six o'clock. Those four candles, okay, are very tradable in terms of you know they operate give you a window when a candle is closing and the new candle is starting for you to actually to put your uh, to put your trades on. And as I said, you know that actually allows you to do other things, okay. Whether you know you might uh, be able to do it around your normal day job, okay, if you're working from home or if you're working from office or depending upon your job, you know, or maybe you know maybe you're at home looking after children, you know, you know you've only got like those kind of let's say. As I said, maybe twenty-minute windows around the uh, around the kind of the uh, the candles completing and starting that allows you to do the work you need to do. So uh, you know, as I said, it allows you to to you know to do other things, but equally you know be engaged with markets and be engaged with markets you know at a pace where things will happen during the week. Okay, you know this. As I said, it's uh, it's the Goldilocks. Okay, it's not not too slow like trying to trade a weekly chart, but not too fast like trying to trade a five minute, one minute chart. So that's a, that's a very different, uh, uh, very different proposition. So, it, you know, um, it, it's, 
it is important, okay, uh, when we come to, to trading, and, and it, you would hear me say this, whether you were trade, trading monthly charts, four hourly charts, or one minute charts, is that one of the things that actually helps traders is, is about the consistency of their pre-trade routine. Okay, it is not about you having to find the absolute platinum trade setup, okay, or a good trade setup in platinum. It's not necessarily about that, okay. What actually helps you is having the right pre trade routine. These are the things that help you, you know, time and time again. So, you know, you'll have heard me talk about this constantly. Every time, you know, I talk about trading, what have you, it's just, you know, just hammering home, having the right pre-trading routine okay so you know you know and if you're going to be trading with price which is what we're going to look at a little bit in a moment you know it should be simple and clear and it should also be simple you know whenever you open a chart make sure you've drawn in significant levels okay monthly weekly and daily charts identify whether that market is trending or whether it's range bound then okay and only then should you drop down to maybe the four hour chart and then we're looking for kind of price action triggers okay at those particular levels when entering trade be sure to wait for a break of the candle, okay? And there's two elements to that. Sometimes, you know, because of, you know, it takes four hours for a candle to complete, new traders can be a bit excitable. They, you know, they see what they think is, let's say, a pin bar is setting up. And actually what it is, you know, the, the candle still has an hour to complete. And because they think it's a pin bar, they put the trade on straight away. But actually for the last hour, then, you know, that the candle changed, the price action changes, it's not a pin bar, okay? And it was the wrong, the wrong setup. So, wait for the candle to complete okay of those four hour time levels we talked about uh, and also for you know for new traders you know it can be helpful to wait to, to make sure that you see a break of that candle okay as, as your entry whether you even if you're entering a market or whether you're putting in a in a pending order ensure you always trade with a stop loss all right and if you're using price hedge it's normally the other side of the candle or the pattern or a significant level uh, that's uh, on the chart I always suggest, you know, no more risk than 1% per trade, okay? Some people, you know, move a little bit up and a little bit down, but, you know, as a rule of thumb, you know, that will just keep you on the, uh, that'll just keep you on the right side. Uh, and you heard me talk about it before, asymmetric trading, okay, in terms of targeting, you know, at least two to one or the next significant level. Uh, and what is key is, you know, as I said, it's a routine. So make sure you record your trade, make sure you review your trades, Make sure you repeat the good trades, okay? So you but surely, you know, just cut out the mistakes, cut out the, the sloppy, crappy trades, okay? Which we all take, you know, and, and you will always take, you know, you're human, okay? It happens, but by recording and reviewing your trades, what you find is, you know, you just take less of them and just do more of what works for you, okay? And I know I'm making a little sound a little bit simplistic, but that's really what it is. It's like a, it's like a good business, okay? Trading is like a good business, and that's what, uh, that's what you're particularly looking for. So, you know, we've looked at, you know, why you would trade it, what you need to be aware of, okay? How you need to build a routine, but, you know, kind of what tools can we use, all right? What kind of setups can we particularly use to, to help us? Well, um, we, you know, we've discussed an awful lot of price action ideas, okay, on the uh, this this trading spotlight webinar series, uh, and you will find some fabulous videos in the Admiral's YouTube uh, channel, okay, that uh, go into individual price action ideas in specific detail. So I'm only just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna brush off them here, but you know you will find that you can go into find the sessions on specific details on those. So you know as we come up to this holiday period, if you have a little bit of time off. That might be a great way to use it, okay, if, uh, to actually sort of sit and go through and just watch some of those videos and just, you know, identify the specific insights and details from particular setups. So we have talked about trend line breaks and bounces. Um, those of you who know me, you know, know I like to, to trade bounces off trend lines, okay, you know, that's, that's um, but, you know, breaks and bounces are, are very valid. Breaks of support and resistance, okay, breaks of support resistance or even bounces of support or resistance. Continuation and reversal patterns. They are equally valid, okay, across four hour charts. Bounces off moving averages, okay. You know, we've done that before. We've done that looking at things like the 20 period moving average and the 50 period moving average. They're very useful. Uh, price action uh, candlesticks, okay. So price action candlesticks might be individual ones, like uh, let's bring up the old uh, drawing tool here. You know, it might be sort of simple ones like rejection candles there, like that, you know, like uh, kind of pin bars or maybe. Uh, you know, engulfing candles that are there, or or perhaps sort of you know kind of morning star or evening star formations, 
or you know uh, bearish uh, key reversal candles there okay uh, and bullish key reversal candles uh, though there are actually a lot more price action candlesticks and you know you could you could spend the whole of 2022 just learning all sorts of different price action candlesticks but simply those are the ones that i particularly like to see okay they they are quite visual um they uh, you know they occur enough to, to make them interesting and also they occur enough at areas of interest okay either at the end of trends or at particular levels of support resistance or as part of continuation reversal patterns that you know they help with basically you know sort of just making the uh, help you with making the trades you can also think doing things like buying pullbacks and selling rallies and trends that's you know that's distinctly possible that you know when you get a nice trend on the four hour chart as we'll look at a few charts you know they can actually go for you can go for a week you can go for several weeks okay and those can be nice trends that are worth uh, trading uh, and not unsurprisingly, um, you know, you can trade them around news announcements. Um, my own uh, general tend of uh, sort of, you know, suggestion and guidance is um, don't trade them into news announcements. OK, wait for the news to come out and wait to see how the market reacts and then trade after the news announcements. I know some people like to trade into the news announcements uh, you know, and that would be, you know, your choice. But personally, I, I personally prefer not to. I personally prefer to, to wait till after the news, see how the market reacts to the news, because sometimes, you know, people like to predict how the, you know, predict what the number will be and how the market will be react. OK, and, you know, and, and when they get it right, you know, they've done very, very well, but it's very easy to get wrong. Uh, personally, you know, even if you can predict what the news will be, what's more important is actually how does the market react to it? That is the how does the market react to it? And it's the reaction on the market that I'm actually interested in. And out of that reaction, that will then may provide me with an opportunity. OK, and that's um, that's maybe something we might look at in a uh, in a moment on one of the slides uh, that we go to. So, you know, there are lots and lots of ideas and weird ways and methods that you can trade for our charts. All right. You know, there is, um, you know, you will find, you know, uh, markets are fractal. OK, and they're kind of the same patterns that you see showing up on a monthly chart and on a one minute chart will also show up on a four hour chart. OK. But as I said, because of that kind of um, Goldilocks time, you know, you, you know, you get time to see it forming. OK, certainly things like patterns, you'll get time to see it forming the pattern. You'll get time to see it sort of, you know, you know uh, making its move. And that can be very useful because it allows you the opportunity to sort of get yourself and set yourself without you being uh, sort of nudged into uh, sort of, you know, into uh, knee jerk impulsive reactions, which can happen very often when traders are trying to sort of scalp off like one and five minute charts. Um, so I've got a few examples here. Okay, so uh, this is you know just I just put in and then we'll look at a live market and, and you know and some of you might look at that and understand what the trade is. Others might look at it and not really identify what's going on and stuff. So you know this is an opportunity just to to, to for us to talk about it. So this is the euro against the Australian dollar on the four hour chart. Uh, you know what we've got these period separators here. Hopefully you can see that if you're just new to the MetaTrader platform, what that is showing is that showing you know the the kind of separation which on the four hour chart is every week. OK, so, you know, when you're seeing here, that is, you know, that's kind of that's kind of Sunday evening. OK, that's when the markets are opening. Well, Sunday evening for me here in the UK, but that might be, you know, that's kind of, you know, Auckland. OK, that might be kind of eight o'clock in the morning, Monday morning, Auckland time, which would be this equivalent of around about sort of, you know, 10 p.m. London time. OK, uh, on a Sunday night. So, um, you know, that in itself is just as a little bit of a. Um, a little bit of uh, guidance sometimes you're know, understanding whether the market opens for that four hour chart okay that in itself can sometimes provide very uh, a useful uh, a useful piece of information and um, that sometimes traders might use that to, to identify their particular bias okay in a, in a market so um you, you can look at that if you're just uh, basically just looking at how how the market reacts around those kind of those kind of weekly opens it's sometimes quite an interesting one to uh, um to, to to view okay but it's probably a bit more for a bit more of a kind of advanced trader but you know it's uh, if you're completely new it's, it's it's something that's of a useful and interest to us so what am i interested when i see this particular chart okay you know uh, what i'm interested in is you know as that as that market opens there and and then it pushes up here to to what we're kind of you know there's kind of clearly been sort of some sort of resistance there then what happens is you know as we start into the monday session we get a rejection candle which then actually as you can see hopefully there becomes an evening star formation uh, and price collapses price moves down really really nicely 
to this kind of longer term sort of, you know, uh, support and resistance lines that have been drawn in. Remember, that's what I said, you know, when you're opening a chart monthly, weekly, daily, because they are very useful. And then what we see here is, uh, you know, price actually puts it in a double bottom here, doesn't it? Puts in a, a double bottom, which also includes, right, that is, you know, that uh, there's a rejection kind of there, a bullish pin bar giving you, you know, that double sort of bottom reversal pattern. And, and what happens is, you know, for the rest of the week, actually price basically shoots up there, puts in uh, what's called a, a FTR, fail to return. Uh, and then as to get towards the end of the week, what we see is that there are kind of wicks, you know, there's wicks coming up there, you know, as we're getting in. That's because the people who bought here, you know, they're starting to sell out here. These kind of previous levels, these kind of previous levels of resistance, people are selling out, okay, as they're coming in towards the end of Friday, the end of the week okay so you know the as i said that's just that one week there you know is of interest in you know in terms of you know the, the price really did swing the bounce and we start the next week start off quite quietly uh, and then we you know we have a bop all right we break what is this level of resistance here uh, and then we put and as soon as we get through it is a there's a, a rejection candle which then once again see how it becomes an evening star formation there and let me just clear this off just to make it a little bit that then becomes an evening star formation uh, and price drifts its way all the way back down to this kind of to this area here before uh, i think this is like a, this is like a bullish engulfing candle right and then price starts to, to rally its way up there okay so you know there's uh, you know there's, there's there's quite a lot you know there's a lot going on there okay and, and euro Aussie and stuff is a good chart okay you you find because of the kind of that sort of almost that kind of um, european stroke pacific kind of tussle that that goes on there you'll find that you know that there are Good moves and remember what i was saying earlier is that it is very possible to, to you know to, to basically to find you know patterns where your risk might be sort of 50 pips and you know you're running for 200 plus pips okay when you're getting a, a particularly nice swing on a uh, on a trade that's the four hour chart will offer that and do that very very nicely okay and that gives you that gives you great opportunities to to sort of you know to to, to ride those opportunities when they when they arrive um, this is the euro against the US dollar. Okay, so remember what I was saying right in the pre-trade routine was that you know trying to understand is the market in a you know is it a range bound or is it trending? Uh, the the last you know the last chart we looked at it was mostly range bound. Okay, it was just swinging very nicely between areas of support and resistance. Here, hopefully, you can see that that is a very strong euro dollar uptrend. Okay, and remember what I talk to people is you know. Is that a very what we're always looking for is a case of you know, um, uh, you know, good trends will leap off the chart at you. All right, you don't need to you don't need to chase them. You don't need to uh, you don't need to you know force them. Good trends will leap off the chart at you. Okay, and that's that's what we particularly are interested in and look at. Uh, Rudolph says these are, are are normal candles, not high and ashy. Nope, they're absolutely. This is just all normal candles here. Okay, that you will find just on the normal on the MetaTrader platform. Okay, they're just as equally valid, equally able to trade uh, as you know as as the kind of let's say the uh, other sort of trade of opportunities. Um, in, in this particular one, what we're interested in here is that you know we see, and you probably heard me talking about it before, is price is above the 20 period moving average, which is above the 50, which is above the 200. You know, we were starting to making, you know, higher highs, higher lows. We're starting to build up into a trend. We then basically price comes down. You can see very clearly here, price puts in, you know, there is a break of a, a counter trend line there. If you want to understand about counter trend lines, you can find the, the, the trade opportunity in the Admiral's YouTube channel. Uh, actually might say put another one through that particular fractal. Uh, but also what we had here, this was a, a three, bar, three bar reversal that was also a, uh, you know, it's a bounce off the 50 period moving average that also provided a bullish key reversal in Dolphin Candle rejection candle okay there's the opportunity to trade there before price particularly runs down and what we see is that not unsurprising it breaks it falls back okay puts in and writes a rejection candle before it goes now this is you know this is where i talk about strategic and tactical right uh, strategic position is a long position okay because that's what the trend has been doing but within that what you'll find is you, know, you might have I might have tactical shorts. I might have a strategic long, but I might also have tactical shorts because as you know, here, here and here, as the price overextends, okay, from the kind of 50 period moving average, well, then it's very not unusual for it to pull back. And here it prints a bearish key reversal and price actually drifts its way back. So it sets up a, a counter trend line, which gets broken and there's an opportunity to sort of rejoin the trend 
and see how now the price is bouncing off the 20 period moving average. Uh, and we see in this next start this week, you know, what we see is really very strong trends there. Okay. You know, very strong trends indeed. Uh, and what we've done in there at the moment is we've just put in a double top there as we as we break through the uh, uh, as we break through that recent high. So you know the strategic you know strategic vision might be well you know we want to be you know still looking for longs, but tactically it might be a case of well actually price might just take a breather by retracing because remember the people who've bought in here you know they want to they're going to take profits at some point once price starts to get almost kind of like starting to go vertical starts to accelerate. In case more people get on board, if you're already on board that trade, that's fantastic. But you've got to remember there's going to be big butt guys who need to sort of soak up that. Okay, they need to sort of find a way to sort of exit that um, exit that position. So, as I said, you know the important thing is you can think, you know, you can be strategic in terms of right, what is the trend that I want to be trading with. You might, depending upon your level of experience, want to have sort of tactical trades against it. But you know, also you know, a good trend should leap off the chart. You know, you don't feel that you need to force it. Okay. Good trends will leap off it, and it's about once that happens, then it's about you know how do you find a way to to particularly join that term um, to join that trend when you can. Um, you know, here's uh, here's you know kind of a uh, this is the pan against the Swiss franc. Okay, I'm just trying to show you you know different environments really. You know, some some very pretty, like you know a very clear trend. Others a bit scruffy like this because welcome to trading. All right, that's you know that's the way it is. There is no perfection. Um, you know, and in this particular case, this is the pan against the 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 Swiss franc. Uh, and what I you know when we start to get interested was was a, a invariably you know price here. Price puts in a low here, okay, which effectively it then becomes, okay, hopefully you can see that that becomes an inverse head and shoulder. Remember, I said continuation patterns work well, reversal patterns work well. Uh, and that's what we had here, okay, you know, and the, the kind of this would have been the, uh, you know, that would have been the right shoulder there. You have to excuse my, uh, you have to excuse my artwork, okay, I'm a better trader than I am an artist. You've got the, you know, the left shoulder here, the head, the right shoulder, uh, and invariably, you know, that right shoulder is formed with a yeah, rejection candle and price basically breaks and goes goes through and goes away for a good part of the week before it kind of before it kind of falls back into the uh, into the moving averages here there it prints the morning star formation before it takes off again and where does it go to very often it'll go to the 200 period moving average what happens at the 200 period moving average okay it basically double tops there uh, and also this candle here is an engulfing key reversal candle at a double top at the 200. You've got confluence of events and price drops away down, doesn't it? Back towards this particular area here. Before it bounces off, there's not really a particular reversal pattern here, okay? But price rallies its way back up to that kind of area level and it sort of puts in a very big, lazy double top there before it drops down again. And it's starting to start identify that there's clearly sort of you know this kind of levels there's a there's a trajectory of travel but it's it's doing it in its own way and price bounces all the way back up to that kind of area prints a key reversal there before it drops down again before it puts in a you know what looks like a double bottom but is actually turns into a triple bottom with a, a bullish key reversal before price comes up again so you know, this is that's not, you know, that's a little bit scruffy, all right? It's, it's not exactly pretty, but, you know, I was saying a bit earlier is that, you know, on the four-hour chart, you know, you might get very kind of nice swings, okay? And that's the swings over different, you know, over months there that would allow you to sort of trade there, okay? Be able to sort of trade those where your reward to risk is, is actually very solid, okay? The opportunity to basically, you know, risk what might be 40 to 80 pips to make 200 to 400 pips, okay? Those are... Those are, you know, those are, are solid, solid particular setups, okay, that occur across all instruments uh, on the four-hour time frame. Um, uh, you know, and this is, uh, you know, another bit of a, a scruffy one within a trend, okay. You know, in that this is the uh, the euro yen, okay, on the uh, on the four-hour chart. Uh, once again, it, remember what I said. All right, this has been this, you know, this the strategic, okay, is that this is in an uptrend, isn't it? And I'm hoping you can you can see that, okay. And the price for the most part, okay, is making high highs, higher lows. It's, you know, it's for the both the 20 and above the 50 and the 200. And what we start to see is, you know, as it starts up down here in the bottom left corner, we can see that actually it bounces off the 50 there, doesn't it? Bounces off the 50, then it starts to bounce off the, the 20, then it and then it collapses and, and you'd be probably be thinking, well, actually, maybe that at that time, you probably think, well, maybe that's the, the trend over. 
but actually at the end of the Friday, the start of the Monday, you're back, okay, you're back above the 200, back above the 50, uh, and the price goes back to this, you know, bouncing off the uh, off the, 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 the 20, okay, and it just, as you hopefully can see, the, the 20 starts acting as dynamic support, and then what we see is price goes vertical, and I think I might have said it a couple of slides before, uh, whatever time frame you trade, when you see price start going vertical, all right, like a kind of a parabolic move, you know, that's normally a sign that you know the the, the energy is running out. Okay, it's the last people to the party, uh, and as you can see there for yourself, okay, you know, yeah, price did rally up there strongly uh, before pretty much going into a double top, which then basically fell all the way back down to the to the fifty period moving average. At, you know, at a bounce up, but now now what we're getting is now we're getting lower highs. Price comes back down to the fifty. See how the fifty acts as support there. Lots of wicks before it bounces. Okay, and at the moment when we close this, okay, it was just it was still you know maneuvering away, but it, you know it was uh, it was starting to get a little scruffy, a little bit scrappy. Okay, so um, you know I just want to show you, you know, not it's not always picture perfect. Okay, it's uh, but you know with the with the four hour chart you have the opportunity to take a bit of time to kind of to sit with it, to work with it, okay, to, to understand, work out areas where markets will become interested, okay, there'll be levels there, there might be blocks there that might be of useful or interest that you can actually look with and work with that give you opportunity for your places where you might be looking to do your business in what is already, you know, a, a, a strategic trend. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know, in conclusion, um, Trading the four-hour markets allows private traders to trade around their exciting lifestyles. Okay, okay, you know, you're, you know, it's a, you're not committed to being sat there all day, every day. Okay, in front of the charts, it requires small time winners around the close and open of four-hour candles, and we looked at that a little bit uh, earlier. So you may only need to check the chart a few times a day, and that actually, as I said, that helps you if you've got particular schedules, commitments, lifestyles, etc. Use the the monthly, the weekly, and the daily charts to maybe do your analysis and then use the four hour chart to execute your trade plan, the ability to, to go down uh, onto there. Uh, it's a case of, you know, um, uh, you know, as it says that a wide range of trading setups work well on the four hour chart, all right? And hopefully we'll just look through a little few of them. So we've got a few minutes left. So, you know, what we'll do for the last few minutes, we'll just have a little look at the live markets there, okay? So just um, and bear with us at the, uh, at the moment. And remember, if you want to contact us, okay, you know, you've got uh, Admiral Markets, okay, is that uh, contact down there on the website or just drop us an email at global at admiralmarkets.com. As I said there, you can see that there is also the uh, Admiral's Global YouTube channel, which you'd be very, uh, uh, very welcome and smart to, uh, to, to move on. So um, if you just uh, bear with us a moment, what we'll do is we'll switch across the charts just for the last couple of minutes and have a little look at what's been uh, going on there just for the last uh, few moments or two. Uh, and uh, yeah, have a see what's going. So just bear with us a moment and I'll just uh, switch across. Okay, so I'm hoping you still see me. Hope you can still uh, see the slides. Uh, Mohammed has said, do you look first to the weekly trouble? Um, yes, what I what I will do, Mohammed, is that um, I do a lot of my uh, analysis on the weekly and the daily chart, okay, in my own analysis. Um, but then also what will happen is, as I said, I will drive down into the four-hour chart to, to basically identify particular setups in line with, let's say, my bigger strategy, my bigger picture. But for, for new traders, okay, you know, as I said, you know, to begin with, it might be a case of, you know, just doing your analysis of maybe the daily chart and then just using the four-hour chart as you kind of like your execution chart because, as you can see, there's a few more swings and a few more moves, and that gives you an opportunity to, um, to take that uh, on board. Um, <clears throat> what I've got here is this is uh, uh, Admiral's um, MetaTrader 4 platform. Okay, this is I've got a profile here on the US uh, dollar. All right. Um, so, it, you know, and I've said this before, if you're starting out and just trying to get an idea, well, then actually, you know, uh, just even if you look at trading the major uh, dollar pairs on the four hour chart, you know, is your execution job that that in itself can be just you know beneficial as a way and means to operate. So on this chart I have here down at the bottom right the the dollar index give me an idea of the dollar against the basket currencies, and then up here you know I've got you know Aussie against the dollar on the four hour pound against the dollar on the four hour euro against the uh, the 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 dollar on the four hour the dollar against the Swiss franc here dollar against the yen dollar against the CAD. Uh, and the Kiwi dollar against the US dollar. Um, this was the one I was of interest in for my trade Monday morning was, you know, uh, into Kiwi dollar here. 
uh, is that you, you, know, you can see that actually it's been in quite a quite a significant uh, oops, quite a significant downtrend. The end of last week was you know, pretty much a strong sell. This was after FOMC, uh, but then once you know what happened was you know we started a kind of uh, you know having come back down to this kind of area here. What did we do? You know we printed uh, we printed a double bottom there, didn't we? We printed a double bottom there, okay. Uh, and not only that, the kind of the, the sort of second leg of it was you know a big strong bullish engulfing bullish key reversal bullish rejection candle okay and um, before we ran off then i my, my, i think my uh, target was around right there i think what was my kind of my entry was like 67.20 my stop loss was at uh, uh 66.98 just just underneath all right to the uh, the recent lows and the big round number and my target is 67.66 okay so risk 22 pips all right for 46 pips that's just over two to one you know, on the four hour chart, that was just a, a nice, simple trade. Okay. Nothing, nothing too, you know, nothing too uh, rocket science, nothing too, you know, um, I'm not trying to, you know, be a smart ass, just um, quite simple. All right. Double bottom at the end of a run at a particular area that's have been of a tested with a, as you can see, there is the, uh, also with the, the kind of the, uh, the, key reversal kennel there and i mean price has gone much higher but i think my target was around about uh yeah, just uh what did i have my target at 67 66 okay so you know that was uh that was my trading i don't really you know normally kind of close down for this week okay i don't really you know i'm not actively because of just because of the nature where we are in this term part of the year part of the year um but you know there's uh sometimes sometimes there's just uh, the odd opportunity that sort of just kind of slides your way uh, and i would be you know i've been looking at uh you know looking at dollar against canadian dollar which remember what I was saying is that uh, you know it, we had here after FOMC just this the last couple of minutes is that uh, is that you know you can hopefully see that you know see how we got swings there okay you know ends there right before another swing which was ended by the FOMC big key reversal price comes back down and then it reverses again which maybe people weren't expecting uh, and then it ran up and then basically we started this week. Come in, what happens? You get a false breakout there with the with the, uh, the pin bar, uh, which then sort of comes a kind of a, a lazy sort of uh, um, uh, one, two, three, double bottom, uh, sorry, double top apologies before price has rolled over and clearly this afternoon, all right? Um, you know, price, price has just been rolling over there itself. So, so there you go. Unfortunately, um, unfortunately, we've run out of uh, of time for uh, um, for uh, today. Okay, uh, you're very welcome, Alex. Um, uh, but you know, hopefully, just even looking at that, you can see that. There was plenty of action on the four hour chart. Okay, some lovely setups. Okay, you know, some lovely swings on the charts that you're actually, if you're just a little bit of practice, okay, a little bit of a good routine, all right, um, will allow you to sort of, you know, start to sort of take a few good swing trades that will allow you to, uh, as I said, get good asymmetric reward to risk trades that don't require you to be sat at the uh, screen all day. Okay, and that you can effectively almost set and forget. Um, so, you know, this is, I think, the final uh, final session for uh, 2022. I just, uh, 2021, uh, I just wanted to say that, uh, listen, thank you for all for joining us. I hope you've uh, found these sessions really useful. Hope it's given you a little bit of insight, a little bit of help. And, uh, and you know, I wish you the uh, the very best of success in your own trading. I hope hope you and your families have a, you know, a healthy and happy holidays wherever in the world you are joining us from. Uh, and I look forward to you joining us in uh, 2022 for what will undoubtedly be more interesting markets and fascinating uh, sessions here from uh, myself, Marcus and Jens at Admirals. So uh, trade well, everybody, and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Take care.